is the CompTIA Security Plus certification worth it? And can you actually find a job with the certification? These are the two questions we'll be answering in today's video where we'll fully review the CompTIA Security Plus certification, what exactly is on the exam, as well as the outcomes of the certification, specifically for whether or not the Security Plus certification will get you an entry-level job in cybersecurity. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Sandra, and I worked as a cybersecurity analyst for more than four years, and I actually took my Security Plus certification exam when I was a year into my career in a cybersecurity rotational program. And if you have done any research on cybersecurity certifications, you will know that the CompTIA Security Plus certification is probably the most popular entry-level cybersecurity certification. You don't need any previous experience. You don't need any educational background or prerequisites like a bachelor's degree or a boot camp. And that is one of the biggest reasons of why the Security Plus certification is so popular. You can take it as a bootcamp student. You can also take it while completing a degree or even switching jobs from a different sector into cybersecurity. It also tends to be the certification that is highly sought after for entry-level cybersecurity roles, specifically for cybersecurity analyst, SOC analyst, and other junior level roles in information security. The biggest reason for this is because the certification exam is very, very broad. It'll cover everything from encryption algorithms to malware to offensive security, compliance, essentially is very, very broadly scoped. It also tends to be a certification that sets you a cut above the rest, specifically when comparing entry-level cybersecurity candidates. For example, if a company is hiring to fill an entry-level cybersecurity role and they're looking for someone right out of a bootcamp, right out of a university, then they're typically going to look for something that sets them apart from the others. That could be personal projects. It could also be skill set or tooling that they've used. But another big one is the certification that, that person may have. And one of the biggest ones is going to be the CompTIA Security Plus. And that could be one of the biggest criteria for the hiring manager of that specific role to look for candidates who may have their CompTIA Security Plus or any other equivalent entry-level cybersecurity certification. This is one of the biggest reasons why I recommend everyone to study for an entry-level certification, especially if you're going into cybersecurity where certifications are highly, highly sought after. And that is one of the biggest criteria that employers are looking for when they're looking to hire cybersecurity candidates. And this fact doesn't change even when looking at entry-level cybersecurity roles. All right, so now that we've covered why you should take the Security Plus exam, why it's relevant, why employers are looking for this exam, and how it sets you apart from other candidates, let's go a little bit deeper into the details of the exam. So as of the time I'm posting this video, the exam is currently on version SYO601. This has been the version since November 2020 but the exam typically updates every three years or so. Something to keep in mind because the newest version of the Security Plus exam is coming out in November of 2023, this year. So if you're looking to take your CompTIA Security Plus certification exam, remember that the retirement date for the CompTIA Security Plus 601 version is July 2024. So this is about eight months after the 701 version comes out. So you still do have time to take your CompTIA Security Plus certification. I think for a typical beginner who may have no cybersecurity background can study for this exam part-time and complete studying within about two to three months. And that is around the timeline that I took, but I will say that I was relatively lenient with my timeline. So you can obviously speed this up if you really wanted to, but again, for most people, they're probably going through school, you may be working, you may be, you may have family obligations. For most people, it'll probably be studying part-time for the Security Plus. And I would say two to three months is probably a good timeline if you're not in a huge rush to get certified, let's say next month. Usually there's going to be a difference in terms of the course material. They may add a few sections or update information in different sections. And that is the biggest reason why they update this exam every three years to make sure the information is kept up to date. However, that also means they may introduce new information into the exam itself. So if you're looking to get Security Plus certified, there may be more terminology or information that you'll have to study for in the 701 version of the exam that is coming out in November of this year compared to the 601 version. And let me know in the comments below if you guys would like me to make a video comparing the Security Plus 601 version versus the 701 version and the actual differences between the exam material. As of the current version, the exam itself has a maximum of 90 questions. This will vary depending on your exam. Every exam is different. There'll be a different number of questions. Each question will also have different difficulty levels. So regardless of how many questions you have on the exam, it should about even out to the over Overall time that you spend on the exam. The exam itself is 90 minutes long. So I know that can sound a little bit daunting, especially because you have up to 90 questions and the exam itself is only 90 minutes long. 
However, another thing to note is that there are multiple choice questions as well as performance-based questions. So performance-based are typically going to be open-ended. They may show some kind of diagram, some kind of scenario, whether it be dragging something around, answering a question based on a network diagram or some information that they present to you. Those questions are typically in the beginning of the exam, right as you start. So that is something to keep in mind. Don't get too caught up in those questions because you still have many, many multiple choice questions that you have to get through. And that I think is even more important. In fact, depending on how you decide to jump around the exam, you may decide to start with a few of the performance-based questions and then jump to multiple choice, try to get as many done as possible, and then come back to performance-based. But again, it's all up to you. But just keeping in mind, the multiple choice questions, a lot of them can be very fast. The questions may be short to the point, and you may already know the answers. So that is why I think you really want to get through all of the multiple choice questions and don't let yourself be stumped on the first three or four performance-based questions for 30, 40 minutes and not even have time to finish going through all the multiple choice. You need a passing score of 750 out of 900 to pass the exam and get CompTIA Security Plus certified. Now on their website, they do have a list of recommended experience. Again, this is not required. Um, I did not have this when I took this exam and you don't need it either, um, but it is something that CompTIA has as a recommendation, which specifically reading off their website, they recommend having the CompTIA CompTIA Network Plus and two years of experience in IT admin with a security focus. And for the new version of the exam, the 701, their recommended experience is the CompTIA Network Plus and two years of experience working in a security systems admin role. And because you have some like room to be able to study for the 601 exam before the 701 exam comes and retires the old one, I would highly recommend trying to get everything ready before the 601 exam retires. This is actually a very similar scenario to when I was studying for my CompTIA Security Plus exam and I took the 501 version of the exam about six months or so before it retired when the 601 version of the exam came out because technically there's no huge difference in being CompTIA Security Plus certified because at the end of the day, the new material in the exam is going to be covered when you renew that certification because the CompTIA Security Plus needs to be renewed every three years. And once you renew your Security Plus exam, part of that renewal process covers the new material in the newest version of that exam. So you're not missing out on any new information that you'll be learning regardless of the version of the exam that you take. Even if you decide to take the older version of the exam, which is the 601. And now finally, the cost of this exam is $392. Now now this is specifically just for the exam voucher itself. There are many different payment options that CompTIA has and many of them come with different variations of exam prep. Now I can link my study resources for when I was studying for my Security Plus certification. I use the CompTIA all-in-one Security Plus textbook as well as many many practice exams. I have more tips on how I studied and passed my Security Plus in this video I made it linked in my description below. But CompTIA does have official training. So specifically, they have live online training, a basic bundle with a self-paced study guide, as well as an exam prep bundle. These range from about $500 to up to $2,500. So definitely keep that in mind. Some of these prices are very, very steep. Personally, I don't think that you have to go through their live online training because it is relatively pricey. And I personally think that using a textbook, a few online courses, and completing many practice exams is going to be enough for you to pass your Security Plus even if you come from an area with no security background. I can also link a few CompTIA Security Plus certification resources from Coursera in my description below. And those are typically going to be a lot less expensive than the hundreds and thousands of dollars that you may pay from CompTIA's official training. All right, so now let's go into the actual job prospects of the Security Plus after you've taken and passed your exam. Based on the CompTIA Security Plus official website, the jobs that you can land with your Security Plus certification are security analysts, IT support managers, business analysts, security admins, and system admins, as well as IT support technicians. So while the CompTIA Security Plus certification doesn't have any sort of job guarantee after you take the exam, it does highly increase your chances of finding that entry-level job in cybersecurity or even in an information technology or entry-level infosec role. Personally, I think the CompTIA Security Plus is highly worth it, especially since I saw the benefits of it when I was applying for cybersecurity analyst job. If you look at any list of entry-level cybersecurity roles, you'll likely find the Security Plus certification as a preferred or required qualification under that job listing. The CompTIA Security Plus is also approved by the U.S. Department of Defense to meet Directive 8140 requirements and compliance with ISO 17024 standards. 
It is also listed on Robert Half's IT Salary Report 2022 among the most valuable IT certifications and on the Global Knowledge 2022 IT Skills Salary Report put Security Plus at number 15 of the top paying certifications. So while it is a very, very popular certification, I also think that as more people get the Security Plus, it's going to become more and more of the norm for companies to actively hire candidates who have their Security Plus certification as just a minimum requirement for entry-level cybersecurity roles. And because there's no educational or, or technical or experience background that is required to take the exam, personally, I think it's a win-win if you take it. You'll learn a very broad range of cybersecurity foundations that you can also use to prepare for those cybersecurity interviews that you will eventually be getting, as well as of course getting that certification under your belt for less than $400 for the exam voucher, which relatively compared to other certifications and programs out there, I think this is a relatively fair price for such a popular certification. But if you are looking for some kind of program or bootcamp that has a job guarantee, I recommend checking out the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp linked in my description below. If you qualify, they do have a 100% job guarantee with a full refund if you aren't able to find a job within the timeline that they mentioned. Plus, you can get $1,000 off the bootcamp using code with Sandra. All right, so that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the Security Plus, about any other certifications that you would like me to make a video review about. You can also check out this video on whether or not the A plus certification is worth it, which is another very, very popular IT certification by CompTIA. Thank you guys so much for watching and if this video was helpful to you, please consider liking and subscribing. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other videos that you'd like to see from me and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!